Welcome back. Recruiting is always a major part of any college basketball program. Coaches often spend numerous weeks on the road finding players that fit their system, but sometimes the talent finds you. Jared Samuelson came to a summer camp at North Dakota State as a virtual unknown, but earned himself a roster spot with the Bison. Today, our own Brian Sean goes one-on-one -on -one with the sophomore from Gretna, Nebraska. Back for another episode of One on One here on the Bison Basketball Show, and we are joined by Jared Samuelson. And we're out in the three point line, which is where Jared does most of his damage, the sophomore out of Gretna, Nebraska. And Jared, interestingly enough, how you ended up here at North Dakota State, you weren't really, you weren't really on the coach's radar at all until you came to a camp here. Can you talk about how you were able to kind of work your way in to a North Dakota State scholarship? Yeah, I uh, came up here, I think summer going in my senior year to go to this camp, um, and then they just kind of liked what they saw, I guess, and kept tabs on me throughout my senior season. Uh, offered me a walk-on position my freshman year, and I decided to, to take it and follow my dream, and then um, just been working hard and got blessed with the opportunity to have a scholarship here. And you came from a very successful high school program. Your senior year, I think Gretna was 27-1. You guys won the state championship. And I think only lost three times your junior year. So you have brought a lot of winning to this program when you came here. Talk about your high school program. Yeah, high school, I mean, it's coached by two great coaches, Brad Feakin and uh, Bill Hurd. But, you know, we, you know, that culture was very good back in Gretna. And, you know, it's, it's similar here, but obviously they take it to the next level when you reach Division One NCAA basketball. Um, but I mean, it's just winning is just it's something that you gotta you gotta learn to do. And so I think I can help bring that. You came in here as a walk-on. Not many walk-ons come in and play a significant role like you did as a true freshman. Were you surprised how quickly you were able to get on the floor and contribute? You had some big shots for NDSU. A little bit, but um, I think I just you know I came into this place and I just wanted to work hard and do my job. Uh, I didn't really have any you know I didn't really. Uh, I wasn't really scared of anything, I guess. I just kind of wanted to come in, do my job, and help this team win as best as I can. You come from a small town, obviously. You were a Nebraska Player of the Year. What else outside of basketball were you involved in? I know you were, I believe, a, a pretty good quarterback in high school. Yeah. I want to say pretty good. Yeah, I, was, I was an average quarterback. Uh, but yeah, quarterback in high school, played some baseball as well, track a little bit. But mostly it was just basketball and football, playing some quarterback. and. Got some playoff wins a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. When you get away from basketball, what do you enjoy doing? I know you're a you're a finance accounting guy, right? I am. Yeah. Um, also like to play some ping pong. You know, I, I enjoy that. Uh, some Xbox with Tyson over there. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, I just kind of just do whatever whatever's there with my friends. Ping pong. How'd you get into ping pong? Ping pong table in our basement back really? home. Yeah. Some, Rough family competitions down there, but it's it's fun. So do you dominate all everybody oh, on yeah, the team? Yeah, there's nobody can compare with me in the household. <laughs> can anybody compare with compare with you on the team? You know, me, me, Tyson, and Cameron had some good games in the dorm rooms. Uh, I I don't think they beat me yet, though, so it's it's pretty easy down there. Ping pong. Yeah. Unbelievable. We have a ping pong player here. Well, Jared. <laughs> We appreciate you taking a few minutes to chat with us, and uh, good luck. Okay, thank you very much. Appreciate all right, it. that is Jared Samuelson, one on one. All right, thanks, B. Sean, for that feature. Samuelson and the Bison are in action Saturday at Fort Wayne. Tip-off is set for 12 p.m. Central. Coming up after the break, we'll throw it to Alex Heinert in Grand Forks for Coach Talk with UND men's basketball's Brian Jones. Stay tuned.